do you decide what you're doing about the Count's offer? Not yet. Bear in mind, this doesn't just affect you. We all have a stake in this. We can get out of this way of life. No more waking up every morning and wondering if that's the day we die. It works out well for Callista too. There's a lot for you to think about. Yeah, I know. It seems like a pretty easy decision to me. Even if you do swear allegiance, it's not like you have to stick to it. And you get a girl out of it. Why say no? If you spend too long thinking about it, you'll only miss your chance. It's a difficult decision. Just be sure to consider your own feelings first and foremost. I feel certain that Callista would like you to do the same. I doubt any of us will criticize you, no matter what you decide. I don't really care about all this night business. Just let me swing a sword around and enjoy the odd drink. That's all I need. But uh, I'd hate to work with that prat from the other day. Who did he think he was? Anyway, it's up to you. Hmm. I think I'd go for it. I mean, yeah, working for the Count won't be a bed of roses. But I don't think knights have to do so much dirty work. The mercenary business isn't one you stay in for life. Oh, there was a man in a robe. He kidnapped my daughter. I, I tried to chase after him. Oh, damn it all to hell. I've never even touched... Hey, could you find out? Oh. Hi, Zale. Horace is going around... There was a man in... I, 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 damn it! I've never even... Hey! Oh, thank you. What's the big idea? Oh, watch where you're going. <clears throat> What's the big idea?
there. Want to play a game with me? Hey there. Want to play a game with me? A game? Yeah. I'll hide special toy coins all around the city. If you manage to find them all, I'll go. You want it? All right. Okay, I've hidden six. They're super shiny, so you Good luck searching! Is that? Master Zale, you have been summoned. Horace, it's you. Oh, um, Master Zale. It's good to see you again, but please don't scare me like that. So you managed to escape from the dungeon in the end? Shh, quiet. They'll get us in trouble. Besides, I didn't escape. I was released. The court ruled that there was insufficient evidence for a conviction. Oh, I see. That's good to hear. Though I'm not sure that's something you should sound so proud about. Yes, but I still don't know what in the world I should do. Oh. Is there something wrong? There most certainly is. It's my wife. She's still missing. Your wife? Horace, you're married. You don't have to sound quite so surprised. Do you have any idea where she might be? As a matter of fact, I do. I did a lot of asking around, and apparently she was sighted near a large mansion in the north of the city. That's why I made up my mind to infiltrate the mansion and look for her. But I was no match for the creatures inside, and then I got thrown into the castle dungeon for trespassing. So that's what happened. Yes. It's wonderful that I've been released, of course, but... Oh, my poor darling wife. I can't possibly rescue her on my own. At a time like this! All right. 
Oh, what? Thank you so much. The mansion towered sentiment like over its visitors. A deathly silence loomed in the air, and not a soul could be seen. There seemed to be a palpable stench of blood emanating from the mansion, as if a beast already had them in its jaws. With an icy chill moving down their spines, they approached the front door. We're here. Do we really have to break into this mansion? There has to be a better way. So are you refusing to rescue a damsel in distress? Oh, fine. I said I'd help, didn't I? Believe me, I'm incredibly grateful. It won't open. May I have a look? There's a knack to these doors. Um, aha! It's open. I'm coming. <sighs> Meredith must be in here somewhere. closed on its own. No dice. Looks like we're trapped in here. Huh? What's that? Their reception leaves me a little cold. Be careful. You're all right, Yurik. Fine. J just a few scratches. Quite a ghastly place, judging by the welcome. That's aristocrats for you. Nut jobs, the lot of them. <sighs> Let's try through here. Call it, Zale. It's just a trap. Call it? He ain't gonna get done in that easy. Let's keep going. He says be careful and he's the first to get done in. Master Dagron. This place really sends a shiver down my spine. Nobody here. Dagron! If you're here, answer me! This mansion is not normal. I can't believe it's really happening. Horace, you sure you don't know anything about this place? Hmm. Ah, what are these scratches? She's some real bloody beast! Damn it, lol! One more down. Where could they have possibly disappeared to? I said we shouldn't have come here. Didn't I say that? 
Master Zael, what's that mirror? Are the others trapped in here? It's here! It's a skeleton! I know what it is! Will you shut up? Huh? It doesn't look like the last one. The other one is definitely black! Who cares if the black or white? Just kill us! What the hell are we doing in this place? People in the city say this place is, um, cursed. Many have entered, but none have ever returned. Maybe you should have mentioned that small detail. I'm sorry. I thought it was just a silly rumor. I mean, who ever heard of a man-eating mansion? Man-eating mansion? Yurik? Let's just find Dagrin and Lowell. The sooner we find them, the sooner we leave. Ah! Enough with the... Rate will be gone too. Not Horace too. Guys. <sighs> this is not funny. Who does these things? Man eating the door. It just... It won't open. Something's pulling from the other side. Huh? It's locked. Coffins. Lucky me.
Lowell, how do you feel? Not bad. Old Blackbones must be off partying with the other skeletons. Yurik, are you alright? I'm fine! Horace, you're alive. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Dagrin, you're safe. Phew. Caught me off guard. It's a pair of glasses. The, those belong to my wife. Oh, no. Please, Master Zale. You have to save my dear, sweet Meredith! I know, just calm down. We should head back inside. Meredith, please be safe. Just keep calm, Horace. We'll find her. Right, back on track. It won't open. Something's... Huh. What is it, Zale? Huh? They can't see him. <sighs> What's that? 
A groan coming from the other side. It might be Meredith! A keyhole. There must be a key somewhere. Mansion. The place gives me the creeps. Oh, not again! I've got to get them back. I need to check the coffins back in the courtyard. They might be trapped inside. All of the coffins are closed back up. They must be trapped inside. Boris, you're alive. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Ah! Lol, how do you feel? Not bad. Old Blackbones must be off partying with the other skeletons. Something shining under the wreckage. A key with an insignia. this before. A sword hanging on the wall flew at me before. The sword was for Stato's. Now we're getting the main rules. What the hell is this place? Oh! The black skeleton. Getting cracked. Whoa! What's this light?
smash the suits first, then there'll be no way for the light to go. Huh. Finally got the key. Leave the door to me, Master Zale. We have to hurry and save Meredith. Good. I can't open it. Horace? Right. Leave this kind of thing to me. Horace, come on! Ah, 
I've got it! It's silver! He's vulnerable. We'll surround him and let him have it. Watch this! Vulnerable again. Zeal, we can't do anything like this. Signal a retreat. This thing hurt Meredith. There's no mistake. This freak's behind everything. Vampires eat humans to sustain their life force, right? And the lady's its newest choke. Oh, it's horrible. It's running. Now's our chance. Let us know when it's vulnerable. Let us know when he's vulnerable. 
We'll surround him and let him have it. Immortality makes you this stubborn. You must have eaten tons of people to get this powerful. My wife! Mary! Still alive! We kill this thing! Ah, he's invulnerable again. Zeon, we can't do anything when it's like this. Signal a retreat. Immortality makes you this stubborn. You must have eaten tons of people to get this powerful. My wife! Meredith is still alive! If we kill this thing, Meredith will be safe, right? This is more like it. It's a man's job to save a damsel in distress. a little scamp, isn't he? What about Meredith? Oh, my pumpkin! Oh, Horace! Oh, Meredith! Oh, I, I, I was watching I see you again! My beloved Meredith! Oh, I don't I mind. I'm just so glad you rescued me. Man-eating mansion? Ha! <laughs> Nothing to it. Oh, so you weren't flapping about, screaming like a little girl. Me? Then. Scream? No idea what you're talking about. You've, uh, pissed your pants there. What? In sweat? At last, our night in the haunted mansion is over. I don't really know who or what that boy in the mansion was. But I think... He's resting in peace now. 
This mansion was surrounded by weird rumors. But now, it's like there's a calm about the place. I don't think anything strange will happen here anymore. Master Zale, thank you so much for all your help. We really can't thank you enough for what you did. Please, there's no need for all that. I'm just glad everything's all right. I'll say. I tell you, every night since then... Uh, Horace, dear, I think that's quite enough, don't you? Ah, uh, uh, I'm sorry, darling. <laughs> Good to see you're doing well. By the way, Master Zale, feel free to visit my shop whenever you like. Oh, yes, we'll make sure we give you the lowest prices we can afford. We'll be waiting. To artisan merchants like me come to Lazarus even without leaving trade, just watch out. Heading to artisan, I wish you the best of.
Knock it off! You know what this place is, right? Huh? No, can't say I do. Oh, really? <sighs> Still, you're a guy, right? I know how it is. <laughs> you have a certain <clears throat> needs from <clears throat> time to time. Seren. Uh, uh, but don't you worry. When you feel the urge, <sighs> this is the place to sort yourself out. <clears throat> I know, I know, everyone's embarrassed their first time. But once you get the hang of it, <clears throat> you'll be back for more. I, I, I really don't think. Oh, don't be such a scaredy cat. You'll never get any better if you don't practice. Go on, be a man and get stuck in. Here at the arena. <laughs> arena? Yeah, nothing like a good old fight. Why? What did you think it was? It's tough to hurt them if you strike from in front. Gotta get behind them or use magic. You can leave the magic to me, so just watch my back, okay? And watch out for that big guy, Zale. He'll crush you if you're not careful. As experienced fighters, I'm sure Team Zale already have a strategy worked out. I think you're probably right there, Franklin. Who's that? The name's Oh, I see! I see! It looks like we're being joined by a second commentator today, folks. Say hello to Jeffrey. It's my pleasure, Franklin. A clean hit. Beautiful work, just beautiful. They weren't so tough. Still, I never knew you were so scared of spiders, Seren. What are you on about? Scared. They're all huddled up in the middle. Trying to keep warm, are they? Looks like a classic defensive form. They're using magic to gain a strategic advantage. 
So, Jeffrey, any predictions for this next battle? Good question, Franklin. This team has a real fire in their eyes. They remind me of my own younger days. <laughs> That's a interesting answer. Not quite what I was asking, but thank you anyway. victory in their arena debut. What a thrilling match that was! Could we have a new star team on our hands? They certainly did well for a team of newcomers. Very promising. Victory is sweet. I'd say we did a fine job. But is this all the prize money we get? Here, Zale, you can have it. Buy yourself something nice. Really? Thanks. Call it a present from Auntie Seren to celebrate little Zale's first arena victory. Seren's handing out cash for something that's not alcohol. Somebody call a doctor. Don't go wasting it, yeah? I'll make sure I spend it wisely. Doctor! Is there a doctor in the house? Well, let's do this again sometime. I'm gonna have a wander. I'll see you back at the tavern. Sounds good. Doctor! Doctor! <sighs> and still they ignore me. You know, that really hurts, guys. Lowell, I said I'm going for a wander. Let's go already.
free. Any predictions for this next battle? Good question, Franklin. This team have a real fire in their ears. They remind me of my own younger days. <laughs> That's a interesting answer. Not quite what I was asking, but thank you anyway. Such power! Such grace! Beautiful work, Jess. Stand victorious! What will this team do next? Why, if it isn't our favorite customer, Master Zale. You seem cheerful. Thanks to you, I've never felt better. I've decided to give up on archaeology. It's far too dangerous. It's the quiet life for me from now on. Just me. Oh, Master Zale, it's good to see you. Wasn't there something you wanted to discuss with him, dear? Oh, yes. Master Zale, have you heard the rumors about the well in the east of town? No, I can't say I have. What about it? Well, you know how the Reptids dig tunnels underground? One of those tunnels seems to have connected to the well shaft. Naturally, when I heard about this, I couldn't help but go and investigate for myself. But I got so excited, I accidentally dropped a very valuable book right down into the well. Don't tell me the Reptids took it. Oh, you're very sharp. I'm ever so sorry to trouble you, but would you be willing to recover it for me? Horace told me he needed that book to devise a way of lifting curses on weapons. I'm so sorry you keep getting mixed up in my husband's madcap schemes like this.
What's the big idea? What's the big idea? Well, this is definitely a cave. Who'd have thought we'd find something like this down here? I wonder where it leads to. That is the question. But it looks like it must have been made by hand. Wind. It's coming from ahead. Yeah, let's go. Bam! I must say, it's quite the... There! Hmm. Found them. Come back here!
Looks like we got them all. Clever old low, eh? Hey, it wasn't that great. I know you love me, but still. Sometimes you talk too much. Better than falling for the same trap twice. Oi! There's one. Yeah. Careful. They're climbing something. Oh, what the? Mike! Ah, why are you little? Get out of here! This is starting to really piss me off. Big for a charm. Maybe an ornament? Or an offering? If it's an offering, maybe it's for that big statue thing.
Those fangs we found must go here. Perfect fit. It's moving. Whoa, look at that. Stairs. seen this stuff before up ahead maybe we can aim through those bars aha uh -huh, well spotted give it a go you could probably shoot your crossbow through there
big sheep. It's not bad. Somebody's been drinking their milk. Well, you do just run a bit without a piece of caution. Sorry, sir. Won't happen again, sir. Don't want to be swallowed by that thing. Let's take it down before we're lunch. It's opened its gob. Zill, shove a bomb down its throat. Lowell, create a diversion. What the hell? I don't want to be lizard food. Good luck, Lowell. Sorry, Lowell. Oh. Zell, chuck a bomb at it before I get completely digested. Farewell! Stairs. <sighs> I'm shedding pounds just looking at them. Yeah, right. They're just stairs, you wimps. Come on. One, two, three. Just stairs, eh? You lost count? I didn't. 3,595, 3,596, 3,597. 
I ain't moving. I'll just live here. You always have the best ideas. And so Zael and the others eradicated the reptids and their queen. After their long climb, they were welcomed into a new day by the warm rays of the sun. Horace has been sneaking out and going on archaeological digs behind my back. He doesn't think I know about this, of course. Well, I suppose there's no helping it. He loves his archaeology so much, it would be cruel to try and stop him. I'm just glad he spends more time at home these days. But if he knows that I know, it'll only encourage him. So mum's the word.